but I think there's just so many things about Beerus that just does not make sense, to be very blunt with you. Beerus being so uberly strong just because of Sibes. Ugh. Okay, so after looking at my own reactions, I've realized that some people even in the comment section believe that I'm some guy that thinks Toriyama did no wrong. And you know what? Maybe he's the GOAT. But for the most part, no, there's definitely plot holes in Dragon Ball. However, Swagkage thinks he has the top five biggest ones. So let's see the top five worst plot holes in Dragon Ball. So in the Naruto plot holes video, somebody said that I should do one for Dragon Ball. And you know what? That's a fantastic idea. So Hell here we are, top five Dragon Ball plot holes. Now don't get me wrong, I'm a massive fan of Dragon Ball, I'll go ahead and make that clear as I did in the Naruto video. Hell but yeah. that said, I am able to look at the series critically and notice when Toriyama and his editors have made a pretty big mistake. Yeah. There are five of those mistakes. Now the same rules apply to this list as in the Naruto list. Manga only plot holes. By the way, my personal plot hole that a lot of you guys think I'm just drunk on, don't know how to do math, all the other shit I'm dying by it, is Beerus being so uberly strong just cause of Zybes. It's been retcon three two five times over so that already should be a red flag for some of you guys but some of you guys see the retcon and be like but it still makes sense though and then um 10 percent of his power against god goku goku then unlocks a new form then screams kaioken times 10 i don't know how that's not a hundred you guys told me that's bad math i don't know how at that point in time goku doesn't at bare minimum let's say it's not a hundred goku at bare minimum doesn't look beerus in the eye and be like who is stronger I don't, I don't know how that happens. Like, to me, at that point, when Beerus is like, I could destroy you right now, Goku was like, let's find out. That's <laughs> like, but, but, hey, that, I digress. Beerus just being absurdly stronger throughout the entirety of Super is always like, uh huh. But that's just me. Let's see what Swag thinks. With a couple exceptions. Since Dragon Ball Super's anime is ahead of its manga, I will say the anime takes precedence over the manga. And cool. since GT doesn't have a manga, well, if I find a plot hole in GT, it's gotta come from the anime. So with that Right. Being said, this is from seven years ago. He may not 100% agree with these takes. Yada, yada, yada. Don't be a dick comment section. When Oh my god, how's the anime about the box? Don't be a dick. This is 2016. That out of the way, let's just go ahead and get started. So explanation regarding <laughs> Trunk DNA. Hey! Excuse me? All right, so first of all, <laughs> Trunks is the first Super Saiyan that Dr. Jiro had eyes on, so I think taking his cells might have made Cell quite a bit stronger. But that's not where the plot hole comes in. See, Cell came to the present timeline from the future, the same future that Trunks came from. In this future, Goku showed up to defeat Frieza and King Cold. You know, future Trunks, he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't, he, he wasn't there. There were no cells for the surveillance drone to take in the first place, so... What the fuck, Cell? Yeah, don't have an argument. I've always thought the first one that, what do you mean you don't want future Trunks' DNA? Why are you so bamboozled upon Super Saiyans, but you don't want future Trunks' DNA? That doesn't make a you lick a sense but what definitely and i never even thought about it but then again i stay away from time paradoxes in my favorite shows movies anime all that stuff because the time shit can get fucking wonky but yeah huh yeah that that just makes sense fair enough 101 oh swag So this is probably the easiest plot hole to explain on the okay. entire list. After Majin Buu left Piccolo and Gotenks stranded inside of the Room of Spirit and Time, Piccolo is panicking, trying to think of a way out because of the fact that, according to him, as seconds passed in the Room of Spirit and Time, hours passed outside in the real world. That's not how the Room of Spirit and Time works, Piccolo. It, it, <laughs> you got it backwards. No, it's not like Piccolo just had a brain fart here either. When he and Gotenks escape the Room of Spirit and Time, they find that in the real world, yes, hours have indeed passed. And once again, it bears repeating, that's not how the Room of Spirit and Time yeah. works. Yeah, it's one day outside, one year inside. So hours. Oh yeah, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Okay, but yeah, yeah, all right, bet, 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 bet. yeah. This is. A, I don't know if I need to re-explain that, or I don't know if you guys want to put my thought process in there. I'll just give you both takes there. This is pretty fucking easy. It was stupid then. It's stupid now. One day out there, one year in here. So yeah, the idea that you leave and it's like, oh my god, hours. No, no. When Trunks and Vegeta walked out, Piccolo and Seventeen were boxing. When Goku and Gohan walked out, perfect. Excel was like, 
new. <laughs> so, yeah, it, 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 it was it like just happened. It wasn't this. Oh my god, Vegeta's dead. <laughs> oh my god, the Cell game's over. Ah! It, it, like no, that's not that's not how. Like, can you imagine if that was consistent, nigga? Cell would have got bored and killed everybody. Literally, no. That that's not how the time chamber worked. That that was definitely a head scratcher. But then again, Toriyama's probably having so much fucking fun drawing Go Tanks and shit. Yeah. Popo's wish to oh hold on hold on hold on first rule of Popo's training two one swag first rule of Popo's training don't speak about Popo's training all right there is no plot hole when it comes to Mr. Popo. We're all clear on the fact that the Dragon Balls turn to stone for a year after they're used, right? We're also all clear on the fact that the Namek Saga happened a month after the Saiyan Saga? So how did Popo do this? How was he able to summon Shenron? The Dragon Ball- <laughs> You just don't understand. Man, that's tough. You just don't understand, bro. That's fine. Balls had just been used a month prior to revive Goku from the dead. You didn't- you, you didn't forget about that, did you, Toriyaba? And man- this isn't just, like, a tiny wish, either. This isn't something that I could just let slide because of how minuscule it is. This is one of the biggest plot points of the Namek saga. If Popo hadn't done this, Piccolo would have been trapped on Namek. Yep. That means Kami would have died, which thereby means that Earth's Dragon Balls would not have been usable again. The Namekian Dragon Balls wouldn't have ever been usable again, meaning that Krillin never would have been able to return to life. Vegeta yep. never would have come back to life. Like, there are a lot of very important things that rely on Mr. Popo being able to make this wish, and he shouldn't be able to do it. But Swag Kage! Kami had just come back to life, so the Dragon Balls had probably just been restored. Maybe when Kami returns to life, the, the, the Dragon Balls... Uh, I, 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 I do not think that is how it works. So I rest my case. I'm sorry, sir. You just don't know ball. You just don't know what you're talking about. You just got caught. You just got caught. On top of that, I will say this. If there's a plot hole there that I will give you that you kind of touched upon, but you didn't really go emphasize. And I talk about TFS oftentimes fucking up y'all thought processes. But one thing that they said that I was like, oh, yeah, I like this video instantly. Wishing Piccolo there was fucking crazy. Look, I understand why they did it, but they should have told you, uh, no. <laughs> if you die here, it's all over. If Frieza just randomly says, fuck it, I'll kill the Namek, because think about it. If Frieza ever put together or overheard Dende when he's talking about, damn, the guru died. If Frieza ever put together as to why the Namekian Dragon Balls didn't work, and he really wanted to rage quit and just fuck with the Earthlings, he just kills Piccolo. He's like, fuck it, fuck Super Saiyans, meek. Over with, nigga. Ball game, series ended. Gohan ain't gonna be no main character either. They ain't, they ain't no main characters, nigga. The only motherfucker alive is Go and Koo. <laughs> it's all over, nigga. Like, you would have turned Dragon Ball to DBZ emo or some shit like that at that fucking point. That was so brain-numbingly dumb. But they did it because of why they do it. It's not something I dislike about the series, but it's definitely something that, like, I did not think that through. <laughs> This is a Dragon Ball Minus. Dragon oh, Ball Lord. Minus is fucking stupid. Now, on its own, as a stand- He about to go in on Dragon Ball Minus like how I feel about Dragon Ball Heroes. I, ooh, I do not like- Dragon Ball Heroes is nothing but fan service, fan service, fan service. Hey, I understand some people really like Dragon Ball, so, hey, get your content how you need to get your content. But then, like, and yes, it has happened on this channel. This channel and this audience are one of one. You need to subscribe to really understand that I'm not just crazy pushing agendas that aren't being pushed. There are some people that will literally use heroes to argue certain points in the fucking anime and manga. Trust me, it has happened in 4K on this channel. I'm just not a fan of these kind of uh, tropes or anything like that. I understand it's more content. Sage, it's a weird thing to hate, but hey, let me be weird, bro. Standalone manga. This is a fun little read, but as a replacement for Bardock, the father of Goku? Why was it necessary to replace that perfectly fine special? I <laughs> Whatever. I'm here to talk about Dragon Ball's plot holes, not Toriyama's bad retconning decisions. Okay. So first of all, this does directly conflict with the manga. 
When Frieza first meets Goku, he remarks, not just in the anime, but in the manga as well, that Goku looks remarkably similar to Bardock. Yeah. And it shows a scene of Bardock in space, just like the scene at the end of Bardock, the father of Goku. Now, I guess technically, this scene could still happen after the events of Dragon Ball Minus, but it's nowhere near as likely following the events of that manga as it is following the events of the beginning Talk of to me. Bardock, the father of Goku. Second plot hole. Jean says she will tell Raditz that Goku was sent off-planet to keep him safe from Frieza. So why did Raditz believe the story about a meteor blowing up planet Vegeta? And why did Raditz believe that Goku was sent to Earth to wipe out everybody on it? This is important too, because the only reason Raditz went to Earth in the first place is because he was under the impression that Goku was on a mission there. If he didn't feel like he needed to check on his brother's progress, he never would have gone there, Goku never would have died and trained with the North Kaio, he never would have learned Kaioken or Genkidama, never would have had to go to Namek. Yeah, everybody would have gotten scraped by Android 17 and 18, and we, we would not have been very good. Yeah? <laughs> I know I exaggerated that for a while, but yeah, I mean, I didn't read Dragon Ball Minus, so I never had this issue, but yeah, if Dragon Ball Minus has uh, Gine, Jing, whatever the hell, directly tell Raditz, yo, I'm sending Goku to some planet for this reason. Why would you think it was an astro? No, no, gangy. Oh yeah, this is this is the layup line. Any person that disagrees with that, all right, you are what many people will say I am. Get the Toriyama cape off your back, dog. This is crazy. The the Beerus and Supreme Kai being linked just creates so many. So wait, why would he do this? Why would he do that? What the fuck? Yo, this doesn't even make sense. This is easy. I'm gonna let him get 40 seconds off. But this is the pause if needed. But this is hilariously easy. <laughs> <laughs> now hold on just one second here. <laughs> even read it fully yeah he's talking about that too yeah that didn't make sense yeah i look i love beerus as a character but i think there's just so many things about beerus that just does not make sense to be very blunt with you and he's also just really bad at his job if you want to think of it very critically uh he sent frieza to destroy the sands instead of doing it himself and frieza didn't destroy all the sands hell still working with him on top of that uh he has a low universal score about to get surpassed probably i don't know what's going on in the manga but probably gonna get surpassed real soon even though he's fucking cracked in the manga i know that he like 1v9s the fucking gods of destruction or some shit so um yeah yeah there's just many things uh, beerus is my guy let me be clear i ranked him very high on my character tier list but yeah it's uh, uh do i need to redo that when's the last time i did my character tier list no just random thought process before i end this video but hold on when was my character tier list he is so sage. Rain best Dragon Ball characters of all time. What? I haven't done a character tier list in a minute. Well, let me know if you guys need me to do a character tier list later on or like update it at some point in time. Probably not anytime soon, but later on. But either way, hey man, shout out Swag for pointing out the plot, plot holes in Dragon Ball. If you guys want me to find more plot holes in Dragon Ball or break or more of a breakdown into specific plot holes. Don't know if I said that right, but we're going to leave it that way. Let me know. Anyways, me and boy TSO Sage, rather shorter video, but hey, you'll be all right. Take care. Stay blessed. I'm going to fuck with y'all later.